So, if you're looking for a light for your smartphone or camera uh, to do vlogging videos or more direct uh, personal video with better lighting, that's where these products come in today. So today we're taking a peek at the LumCube Ring Light Mini and the uh, Ring Light Pro. Essentially, these are two similar devices, different in size, different in some of the natures that are that are built into them. And we're going to go through all of those each individually. But today we're going to start with the LumCube Mini. Uh, we're going to do an unboxing. We're going to talk about this guy. Then I'm going to do a separate video on unboxing everything of the LumCube Pro. So if you're interested in that, top of the description, as well as end of the video, I will put links to this video. Um, and then we're going to actually put them side to side in a third video, kind of compare them to see what the differences really are head to head. So if you're interested in those two videos, those links are in the description or at the end. Otherwise, stay tuned. We're popping this guy open. Okay, so today we are starting with unboxing of the Ring Light Mini from LumCube. So this is exactly how it comes should you purchase one of these yourself. I have not actually pulled it out of the box yet, so I'm actually really looking forward to this. Um, so we have our information here on the uh, Ring Light Mini itself, as well as showcasing some of the other fantastic LumCube products. I do actually have a couple of these products myself. My daughter actually uses the, one of the smaller uh, LumCube lights and has been using that for the last little while. She's also going to do a video on these, so if you want to check those out, I will also post those, the link to those in the description as well. So there we go, there's the, the, the Ring Light Mini. Uh, it's got a 12 inch diameter. Um, it does have this smartphone mount that comes with it that actually has the capability of tilting. However, it is a quarter 20 mount. So you could remove this mount um, and put it in your own if you have a different mount that you use with your specific one. Like you wanted to remove this, put it on a MagSafe mount that actually is magnetic to your smartphone uh, to uh, like the iPhone. Um, but you're not going to have the same articulation, I don't think, with those. So there are options, but it is a quarter 20 there. Pretty easy. You can see the, the little dial there that would uh, allow you to remove that. Um, and then the mount to go on the pod itself. So we're going to set this off to the side. We also have a USB-C cord to power this guy. Um, this is how you actually would power it. You can power this off of your PC, off of a power brick, off of a portable battery, any pad any battery pack would work, but they do give you what looks like a decently lengthened cable. I'm almost guessing that might be a 10 footer. We'll see, pop that out in a minute. All right, so we have, uh, looks like an Allen wrench and some uh, clips, I think probably to hold the USB-C cable on the, the, the stand itself. They just clip on and have a little clip to hold the cable. Nothing big there. All right, let's see here. Take this guy off. Then we have little tripod guy, which nice and wide stance. You could, let's see here. Oh, they, they do give us a power brick for that USB-C. So you, that's how you can you power it right there. Um, all right, this is a clamp. Um, so it looks like we have a couple different mounting options. We have this uh, wide tripod that it comes with as well as a desk clamp with what looks like a quarter 20 on top of both of those. The nice thing is they're using standards. So I'm gonna set those over here. Then we actually have the pole itself. Now this pole has quarter 20 on the bottom to go onto either the tripod, which is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna screw it onto this guy real quick, rather than the desk clamp. And then a uh, quarter 20 on here to actually mount the light itself, which we will do here in a minute. And I believe that other than some silica gel, which I'll leave in the box for now, is it. Set that there. Let's put this back in here. Here we go. And I can close the box. And I'm gonna zoom the camera out so you guys can see what's going on. Okay, so we have the tripod piece here. This actually has a 16 to 40 inch uh, height adjustment. So there is two sections that you can adjust to get up to 40 inches in height on this specific stand. I'm gonna keep it as low as possible just for this video purpose. Um, then we actually have the ring light mini itself that should go on here, fits around it, and then we'll screw it on. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it doesn't actually screw on. Maybe, I bet it doesn't. Uh, if you use the tilting mount that comes with it, it's just the 
piece back here, the, the knob, that's how you actually uh, con connect to it. That way you get motion out of it this way and that way. Well, that's kind of pretty cool. And then we have all the uh, quarter 20 adjustments to tighten everything down. I'm gonna do that real quick. May have to back the camera up a little more to get this entirely in the shot. So maybe let's do that real quick. I think it's actually gonna be easier just to focus on this because the tripod is pretty simple and the, the stand itself. So, like I said, there are, uh, or there is this live, lovely USB-C cable. Um, not 10 feet, I would say six foot USB-C cable. So we do have a standard end and a 90 degree end. 90 degree end is probably for this, plugging into the bottom. So there is a USB-C port right there. Um, there also is light and color temperature adjustment. Um, it's just a dial setting. Um, I, it kind of just kind of goes up one side and then to the other. Uh, and then there is a power button right there. I'm assuming we're gonna get a little display and we're gonna show that here in a second. Um, like I said in this little bag, and I'm just gonna make sure I show at least one of these real quick. A little clip with a little uh, cable piece. I'm fairly certain that if I was to raise this up, it's gonna go on this little guy like that. And then this cable just holds it out of the way so it's not in your shot. So at least the first little bit is nice and solid against the pole. You can put it on the back side so you're not even seeing it, right? So you just see the little L there and then you're not gonna see it. It's gonna actually be hidden behind it. In this case, for this video, it doesn't really matter. I want you to see everything. So there we go. Now, I can power this one of a few different ways, right? I can plug this into a PC and power it that way. I can plug it into the power brick that was given uh, along with the actual ring light. So six feet away, I'm plugging into that. Or, and I don't even have to use this cable, but it is actually a nice braided cable. So LumCube gave a nice cable with it. Um, I'm gonna actually plug it into this little uh, Zendure um, power brick. And uh, boom, she's on. So. That is powering it, this little guy. And I'm gonna click that power switch on the side, the toggle. And back here, it just says Loom Cube. Oh, and it is on. So there we have the, the light itself. Now I can take that uh, brightness and brighten it up or dim it down. Uh, looks like it goes down all the way up, all the way back down and off, essentially off and then back up. Now I'm gonna bring it up to 100%. The nice thing is, let me show you this little display. Um, maybe I'll zoom in on that here in a second. Um, I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, I can also change the color temperature. Right now we're at 2700K. This one can go between 2700 and 7500 Kelvin in terms of the color temperature. So in 100 increments, so 28, 29, 3000, oh, there we go. 3,100, 3,200, all the way up to 7,500, really blue, right? Um, so really yellow to really blue, and that is awesome. And the, and also the percentage increase and decrease in light, I'm um, 199, 98, 97, 96, 1% increments for brightness and 100 degree Kelvin increments in color. That is awesome. <laughs> And I love the display that's really easy to read. It's really easy to control. It's really easy to turn off and turn back on. That's awesome. Um, so I'm gonna show you that here in a second, but before we do that, I am gonna show, uh, so in terms of the phone itself, the phone mount, um, put my phone back to sleep. Now I have the, uh, the Max series iPhone. So I have the largest of the iPhones. Um, and whether or not you're gonna do towards you or you wanna, if you do like me, I don't use the front camera myself ever. Um, I always use the back camera because that's the good cameras. Um, I just have gotten really good about how to frame myself when I take photos and videos. So I prefer not to see myself. Um, I prefer just to go with it. That way I'm focusing on the camera and making sure that I'm visible better than watching myself. So that's just me. Um, so. That's up to you because it's just flipping the phone around. But here's the thing, this thing's awesome. Um, let me uh, get it up and so you, show you what that little display looks like so you can see it better. 
Okay, I also want to see if it actually saved the settings that I had it on, um, which was like 80 some percent brightness. I think is where I stopped. But if I hit the power button, Loom Cube, and or maybe it's 95. Let's find. Let's try this again. So let's actually set it to let's say 40. Let's say 5,000 Kelvin, and then bring it down to like 58 percent brightness. I don't know, something weird, right? I'm gonna turn it off. You know what I'm gonna actually do? I'm gonna disconnect it from power altogether. Uh, I'm really interested to see if it actually saves those settings. We'll give it a few seconds here. So no power is connected to it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and reconnect it to power. It is, it does have power again. Click it back on. And it looks like it does save the settings too. That is extremely handy when you use this in a, um, a, the same setting over and over again. Maybe you do videos in the same area like I do mainly down here in my studio. That's pretty awesome. Now, the neat thing about this is it comes with the smartphone mount because that's mainly probably how you're gonna use this, but you could use a different camera as well. It's not a huge opening, so I'm not gonna say DSLRs are gonna fit in this. So that's um, probably where you're gonna wanna look at the Ring Light Pro if you're gonna be using a larger frame factor camera than that. But it does give you setting options and it's all quarter 20 mount. That is super smart of, uh, of Loom Cube to do. All of their existing stuff is quarter 20 as well. Uh, and so my favorite little monopod that I take and actually use with my smartphone, I use it with my GoPros, I use it, I've even used it with this DSLR, is a Loom Cube product. I think they make some great stuff. Um, and so I'm really happy to show this case, uh, showcase this as well as the Ring Light Pro coming up. Um, so this gives you really flexible mounting options. The flexibility of how much movement you need to get out of the actual light itself. Also fantastic. I love the fact that it's really easy to control and it's also really easy to adjust um, and uh, get the, fine tune the settings that you want. And then once you have the settings that you, you like and you would like to use, it saves it so it's there every time you turn it back on. That's also big. Um, so it has at least a memory function that it knows where it was prior. Big items on that. Now this one's USB-C powered, um, which means it's pretty easy to power with about anything um, because everything's going that way. And these little USB-C power bricks, something like this guy the, from Zendure, they work great, um, but it, technically you plug it in the wall and have an infinite amount of power. So uh, Loom Cube, you're, ma you're making some great stuff. And uh, this is the first uh, time I've ever touched one of the ring lights. Um, and I'm very impressed, very impressed. Uh, so the quality of the product as well, that's another big thing. Seems like it's actually built pretty well. Um, the stand is really easy to, well, let's see if I unplug that and just t turn off that. I can just take the, pop this out. This is gonna be the piece that's gonna be most likely to get bumped over and break. That's the heavy part, at least, for the stand. Um, but then you can actually remove this piece down here that actually, excuse me, is actually what you put on the stand here and it's quarter 20 to use whatever tripod or mount that you have existing. You could mount this on an arm that's coming off the wall that has, as long as it has a quarter 20 mount, you're good to go. So look, if you're looking for that more personal light source to create some content of yourself and give yourself all proper lighting on your face, um, Loom Cube Mini, not a bad option, pretty awesome. Um, and they thought of it. They thought about exactly how it needs to be. They put all the buttons and dials exactly where they needed to be for ease of control without over cluttering it and over complicating it, to be honest about it. Um, 180 degrees of tilt. Oh, the CRI. So the color uh, rating index of this guy, 96 plus. So you're getting really accurate color for the most part out of this guy as well. So yeah, it has a really large range of color options that it can create. Like I said, from 2700 to 7500 Kelvin in terms of color, up to 960 Lux. Uh, and I think that reading from them is at half a meter. So three, you know, 100 foot and a half. To be honest, when you're using these, you're gonna be really close to them, so that's why they take that reading so close. So, there it is. That's the Ring Light Mini, powered by USB-C, easy to adjust, and it comes with actually a pretty nice stand. Now, I didn't use the table uh, clamp, but it's a simple table clamp with a quarter 20 mount that just replaces that tripod stand that's on the bottom. So, if you wanna see the Ring Light Pro next, 
stay tuned or, or stick, click the link here at the end of the video as well as in the top of the description. Either way, I also am going to put them side by side in comparison them in a third video, all of which are landing at the same time. So also link in the description as well as here at the end. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you back here on TechGooch for another future video review, unboxing, whatever we come to. Thanks for watching.